In this presentation, we'll be covering material and oil breakdown testing, and we'll go over the D149 DI series and the OC60 DI series systems that are offered by Hypertronics. First, we'll go over a uh, small overview of the breakdown testing uh, for material and oil, and then we'll compare breakdown testing versus hypo testing. We'll then go over the D149 DI features and specifications. I'll show the screens, uh, a little preview of the screens of the software that comes with the system, as well as the advantages of the new D149 DI series over its predecessors. I'll then mention some of the applications that can be that, that can be done with the D149 DI. We'll then move on to the OC60 DI features and specifications. I will again show some of the screenshots that are visible on the system, as well as uh, go over the advantages of the new OC60 DI over the previous versions of the OC60 series. We'll finalize that with the common applications that the OC60 DI is used for. For material breakdown testing, it's uh, to determine determining the dielectric breakdown voltage of solid insulating material is necessary to understand the material's ability to withstand electric stress without failure. Uh, the breakdown test can be performed by increasing the voltage uh, until there is an actual failure of the insulating material, and the voltage can be increased in three different ways. The short time test, which is a rapid test, a slow rate of rise test, and a step-by-step -step test. The main, international, the main uh, standards that are followed for this type of testing is the ASTM D149 and the IEC 60243. The ASTM D149 is mainly followed in the US, while the international community uses the IEC 60243 standard as a guideline. For oil breakdown testing, uh, the same thing uh, is necessary to do. Essentially, uh, you want to do um, put the oil to a stress test uh, until it actually fails. The breakdown test can be performed by raising the voltage continually over time until there is an actual failure. And the main standards that are used in the US uh, are the ASTM D1816 and the ASTM D877. Uh, the, the ASTM D877 uh, is starting to be phased out more or less, and we're focusing more on the ASTM D1816. Uh, while the international uh, community follows the IEC 60156. Do know that many countries do have their own local standards. However, most of those standards are based on either of these two standards. Breakdown testing versus high pot testing. Um, for breakdown testing, the high voltage uh, test is done to failure. Uh, it's usually a destructive test and therefore is only done as a sample test. Uh, it's usually used for testing materials, uh, insulating materials, and the test will always result in a flashover since that's the goal of the test. Uh, with this in mind, the breakdown testing equipment is usually designed to withstand thousands of flashovers in the lifespan of the unit. In hypo testing, on the other hand, uh, the high voltage test is only done to a certain withstand voltage level. It's usually non a non-destructive test unless the the item that you're testing actually fails, in which case it becomes a destructive test. The hypo testing is usually done for acceptance testing and routine testing, and is usually used for testing pool systems. Uh, you will only observe a flashover during hypo testing when the item that you're testing actually fails, uh, and therefore the hypo testing equipment is designed to protect itself uh, in case there is a flashover. Nevertheless, it's not designed in particularly uh, for repeated arcing or flashovers. The D149 DI series uh, now has a digital interface with touchscreen controls. Uh, it has preloaded D149 test parameters in it, and uh, and then it can also be uh, adjusted uh, for custom test uh, in case the operator wants to do a certain specific type of test. Uh, the system also uh, has automatic calculations, and and with, once the tests are done, and you can export the data. Uh, Via reports on the US via the USB 2.0 that's in the control. The system and controls can also be updated, uh, specifically the software uh, via the USB. And now these systems we also offer them with uh, DC output voltage as well as corona-free uh, output. Uh, the 75 kV and 100 kV versions do have a shelf uh, available, uh, which allows to store some of the accessories that are 
used on the, during the test. The assistance breakdown voltage detection is within 10 microseconds, and one of the main uh, new features or improved features of the D149DI series is that it now has a single tap configuration uh, that allows the operator to test from 0.5% to 100% of the rated voltage. Uh, as I had mentioned before, the system, although it comes with preloaded D149 uh, tests, uh, the operator can also adjust any of the test parameters. Uh, both versions of the system, uh, the smaller version, which is shown here, and the larger 75 100 kV versions do come with a built-in safety cage window, and it's designed with a continuous duty cycle for breakdown testing. This unit also has one of the highest accuracies in the market right now, uh, with a 1.5% of reading plus minus 0.2% of full scale. Here we can see some of the software windows that are that you would observe on, this, on the equipment. Uh, on the top, you can see the main menu screen. Uh, on the bottom left, you can see the essentially the, the screen where you will set the, the test parameters, uh, either by recalling a, a certain test or just by clicking on each each uh, value and then changing the value to your uh, to the desired value that you're trying to test them. Uh, once you press the start, uh, the screen will switch to red to indicate that a high voltage is on and the values will change as the test progresses. Uh, the, as the tests progress, you will see the number of tests and the breakdown voltage on the right side. And then once the test ends, um, you will be able to export all that data via the USB. So the D149DI series has, uh, the new control allows uh, to have more advantages over the older versions of the system. The main ones I had mentioned before is a single tap configuration with a 0.5% to 100% of the rated voltage test range. Uh, and then it also has a 0.5% of full scale stepper solution. Uh, the, it has a fast breakdown voltage detection of less than 10 microseconds, and the new screen, the touch screen, is seven inches uh, long, a big. Uh, it also has a seal through compatibility, uh, which allows for uh, safety features. Uh, as that are necessary nowadays. Um, this system also is a, it's essentially an all-in-one test solution, especially if you want to do uh, some DC testing or partial discharge testing as well. All the metering is performed by fast sensitive circuitry, and the test performs uh, with, with automated sequences. The software itself is designed to calculate all the test result data and save it into, a US, into the control internal memory, or and then export it via USB and CSV format. The control is also a rack mount control, allowing for future upgrades uh, in, once they come out. The D149 DI series can be used to test polymeric moldings, embedding compounds, ceramics, tubes, sheets, rods, varnishes, coatings, adhesives, or any filling compounds, essentially any type of uh, insulating material uh, that you're trying to do some electrical testing with. The D149DI is usually seen in insulating material and electrical safety equipment manufacturers, uh, as well as in laboratories for renewable energy and battery research and development. Uh, chemical and adhesive manufacturers, as well as of aerospace uh, parts and auto parts manufacturers uh, do use this type of system. Now the OC60DI um, is the new version also as well as the oil breakdown testing system that we have released. Uh, and uh, it also comes with a digital interface with the touch screen controls. Uh, it has automated testing for preloaded uh, national and international standards, which I had already mentioned before. Um, if the customer doesn't have, uh, if, if the customer's standards that they're trying to test are not preloaded into the system, the customer will still be able to uh, upload different uh, test parameters into, into the controls. The system also has uh, automated recording and uh, calculations, uh, such as a standard deviation, which, uh, which makes, makes it easy for the operator to be able to uh, record the results. Once the tests are done, you can export the, uh, the results via the USB or via the optional onboard printer. Uh, the, system does, the system does keep the, its, it's, uh, its durable metal case, which has been in, uh, in past versions, uh, which makes it uh, more sturdy. 
Uh, the software of the OC60DI can also be up updated via the USB port, uh, as well as uh, uh, to export the data uh, via the USB. It comes with the easy grab handles, which makes it easier to move uh, from location to location. And it has a translucent sliding shield, uh, which also has a magnetic interlock uh, for safety reasons. This way, if you uh, slide open the, the shield, the high voltage of the OC60DI will automatically stop. Uh, the system now comes also with a battery uh, included, which, uh, which allows for on-site testing. And uh, the break, uh, there is an automatic high voltage shutdown within 10 microseconds of the break, breakdown point. This system's accuracy is 2% of full scale, and it also has universal mains input, which allows for adjustable output frequency. Here you can see the screens of the OC60DI software. On the left side, you can see again uh, the, the values that are going to be that are set uh, for the test. Uh, you can upload the preloaded test sets uh, or the, the standards, uh, whether national or international standards, uh, by clicking on the clipboard on the bottom, and then you can choose the standard that you're trying to test to. In case the standard is not pressed or preloaded into the system, then you can just click on each of the values that are seen in the screen, and then you can fill those out as necessary. Once you, uh, you have the values uploaded, uh, you can just press start, and the screen will switch to red again uh, to show to the operator that the high voltage is on. As the test progress, progresses, uh, the values on the right side will, will keep changing. As the, each test is, is finalized, uh, you'll be able to see that uh, the values of the breakdown will appear on the on the graph on the right side. Uh, once the test is done, all the values are automatically calculated and can be exported via USB or printed uh, via the optional printer. Apart from the OC60DI, you will also require test cells to be able to, um, to, be able to hold the oil that, that will be tested. Uh, we have changed the way that we sell the test cells in hypertronics. Uh, we now offer uh, a one cup that's uh, that can be uh, adjusted with all the electro kits. So essentially, you will require the cup as as well as one of at least one electro kit. Um, in this case, we're showing you here the uh, eight one eight one six, uh, which is a kit for the ASTM D one eight one six. We also have the one fifty for the electro kits for the one IEC one fifty six and the ASTM D eight seventy seven. Uh, the main difference between these standards is the, the electrodes uh, with the 877 having flat disk electrodes while the other two have VDE electrodes. And the uh, ASTM D1A16 uh, requires a stirrer, uh, so therefore it also includes uh, a uh, motor-driven circulating system on the cap of the test cell. We also offer the OCCME, which is a digital calibration test cell, and it allows to uh, calibrate the voltage as well as the ramp rate of the OC60DI. The OC60DI now, this is the modern replacement of the OC60 series. Uh, it's compact design, uh, it's multi allows for multi-purpose use, uh, whether in the field or in a factory or laboratory. Uh, as I had mentioned, uh, we did keep the sturdy and reliable casing for it for the system, uh, which customers have appreciated very much. And uh, the touch screen interface is very much user friendly. Also as well, the battery that has, that's now uh, included as a standard feature uh, allows for testing in field, uh, as well as uh, easy to share the results via the USB or by printing the results. UC60DI is essentially used to do any sort of dielectric breakdown testing on insulating liquids. Uh, most of this, the liquid is usually oil, and any essentially, essentially any uh, equipment that uses oil as an insulating liquid uh, would be used, would, would need to be used, uh, or would need to go through the testing uh, when you're testing the oil. Uh, this type of equipment is usually transformers, bushings, switch gears, capacitors, hydraulics, yeah, circuit breakers, and reclosers. The OC60DI is usually seen. Uh, in the utility companies, uh, utility contractors, and laboratories, uh, as well as transformer repair shops and service centers. Uh, additionally, uh, transformer manufacturers, as well as switchgear and capacitor manufacturers, also 
uh, can use the OC60DI uh, to test that the oil that they're using. If you have any questions regarding uh, material or oil breakdown testing, please do not hesitate to contact us. Uh, as well, if you have any questions uh, regarding the D149DI series or the OC60DI series as well, uh, you can contact us by calling us to our sales number or by emailing us to sales at hypertonics.com. Finally, you can also go to our website uh, where you can find the data sheets for uh, all of our equipment as well. Again, um, don't hesitate to contact us if you have any questions, uh, and thank you. <laughs>